Um, you know what, I, I liked the way we started the game. Um, obviously, we got a little bit of a bounce for the first goal, but I just thought we came out with a lot of energy and, um, you know, tried to establish, uh, you know, the way we wanted to play. And, uh, you know, the puck found the, the back of the net early, and I thought we kept coming. Uh, you know, that's a, it's a young team, but it's a very talented team and, uh, you know, certainly very good offensively. And uh, I think there were times... Uh, we played very well in times that they exposed us on a few things, which uh, at this time of year is, is kind of what you hope for. But, uh, you know, I thought the special teams were pretty good overall. Um, I thought our goaltending was excellent. So uh, a lot of good things, uh, some things we need to improve upon. But uh, overall, you know, uh, very happy with the, uh, you know, with the win. Do you see any sort of last minute improvement areas for the team before Sunday? Yeah, I think. Uh, you know the the two um, you know the, the exhibition and the scrimmage uh, you know have have one level of intensity and then once you get in the regular season it's another level of intensity and uh, you know I think we can be better in, in a number of areas uh, you know at this time of the year you're really trying to uh, still you know just become better fundamentally just kind of stop and start not uh, going for the long turns the kind of stuff that you do you know, playing in the summer and that kind of stuff. But uh, a lot of good signs. Um, you know, I thought uh, we got some some really solid contributions from some guys that are, uh, you know, new to the lineup. So that was that was uh, always nice to see. But uh, obviously, uh, you know, there's a lot of things at this point of the year that we, we need to improve. And on the subject of the lineup, I mean, there were a few guys who were taking nights off. I'm assuming maintenance, nothing major there. With Jake and Thomas, I saw it as well, just sitting in the stands. Yeah, I think um, you know, you know, for an assortment of reasons, uh, you know, um, you know, uh, there were decisions that made, you know, the lineup, uh, you know, and, and uh, you know, we're, we're we'll manage them. Hopefully, we'll get uh, you know uh, everybody healthy and available, and uh, you know, be ready to go to start the season. So with them back in the fold, we're not really sure what, how the lines are going to pan out. So what we saw tonight isn't necessarily the what you're leaning toward right now. No, I, I you know I think uh, you know just in general our lineup, um, you know, in relation to last year, uh, you know, where uh, we had you know so many uh, returning guys, especially on the the top few lines, um, you know, I think there'll be a little more. Uh, you know, competition and, and, and guys uh, pushing guys, uh, you know, um, out of the lineup and that kind of stuff. So uh, I think that's healthy. I think uh, we have, you know, we have good depth. Um, you know, at this point of the year, we're still trying to find out, um, you know, what level guys can play to. Um, and, uh, you know, I think there'll be a, a good, healthy competition throughout the year. Talk about the depth down the middle or the lack thereof. I mean, there's... There's plenty of skill there, but there's obviously two freshmen that you have slotted in playing in the middle now, um, your son, and then, you know, uh, Captain and Eddie, who's hardly had any games under his belt. So what's what's sort of the dynamic, uh, considering that the middle is usually a strong point for the team? Yeah, I, I, I think we will be good in the middle. Um, you know, uh, obviously, uh, Jake Horton plays the middle, and... Uh, you know, uh, I thought Jack Bedini looked excellent tonight. So, uh, you know, and, and Eddie's played a lot of hockey uh, over the last few years for us. Uh, so, you know, I think he he understands, uh, you know, what what we what we're trying to do out there. So, I, I think um, you know the, the strength of the team. Um, you know, certainly, uh, you know, we hope to be strong in the middle of the ice. But uh, you know, it's there's no way to uh, to really get experience other than, you know, getting thrown into the fire. So we'll have some guys there that, uh, you know, are, are learning and, and uh, you know, like, like any team, uh, we hope to really improve throughout the season. And we'll need to. We'll have a lot of guys that'll uh, be going through some things for the first time, whether it's different uh, road environments or, you know, different scenarios. And, uh, that, you know, it won't always be uh, – you know, uh, a happy ending, but uh, but I think uh, I think uh, we get guys that really want to compete and push each other, and that's a that's a good thing. And last one for me, um, you know, you guys obviously start later being an Ivy League team. Um, I talked to some of the guys about that. They saw positives and negatives to that. 
considering how competitive your schedule is right off the bat with three Ivy games and then the mega road trip with some of the teams, some of the nation's best teams, how do you sort of prepare the team and, and are you ready to jump right into the fold? You don't really have a, a few warm-up games, so to speak. Well, I, I, think, um, I think we're mentally ready. I think we prepare the team by, you know, talking about the fact that other teams are playing games and try to make our practices more competitive and try to really, you know, make a point of, uh, you know, of the fact that, you know, we really need to push ourselves if we're going to, you know, uh, because of the late start. Um, ultimately, there's, there's certain things that play out during the game that can really only be experienced through the game so uh, you know so some of that is uh, is difficult you know it is uh, an advantage sometimes when you have you know a lot more um, you know uh, upperclassmen that have kind of been through those things and kind of you know can manage uh, some of those situations so uh, you know we'll have a, a younger group going through it and it's a tough schedule but uh, you know we're, we're, we're not really uh, you know, looking for excuses. We're looking for, for answers, and uh, we're excited. We think it's a great opportunity. Uh, while it's, you know, it's tough to play, you know, uh, three big Ivy games right out of the gate, um, you know, the flip side of it is we get teams that are have a similar, you know, situation to us. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's something that uh, will be a work in progress, you know, and uh, I think our, our guys are overall very excited about the opportunity.